This is Classic FM. It took me quite a long time to agree to do the Apostles. I wasn't sure how to find a way into it. And I did The Kingdom first, which of course Elgar wrote after the Apostles. And The Apostles, as an idea, was the beginning of a tripartite series of works that he wanted to do. It cost him a nervous breakdown. It nearly cost him his sanity. He suffered a great deal in choosing the extracts from various parts of the Bible that went to make up the text. And if you read about how the work saw the light of day, you might think it can't possibly be good. But it is very, very good. And I was thrilled that the the rehearsals with the Halle in, in our marvellous hall, uh, with some wonderful soloists and our chorus, big chorus, turned out so well. And I think the journey that we made rehearsing it and finding it together has in a way brought the piece back, I think, into people's consciousness of how important it is. Um, it, the piece has not been recorded enough mm. Um, Sir Adrian did a recording very much at the end of his life, which I, which I think is a pity because his contact with Elgar and his championing of Elgar through his life was very significant. And I think had he done it, I don't know, 20 years earlier, perhaps at the beginning of the long playing record rather than when he did, uh, it might be a fairer version of the piece. It is very, very slow. Uh, I think my performance, without my realising it, was 20 minutes faster. Goodness. But I think um, Elgar wanted it to be full of um, the blood flowing in these young men's veins. Mm. He didn't want it to be too um, reverential or earnest or pious, especially pious. And I think in its most dramatic moments, and I think the opening 15 minutes of it are some of the greatest music Elgar wrote, one sees why he would sit down with Thomas Hardy and discuss writing an opera together. One can see there was some dramatic feel in his veins, even though he didn't really belong in the theatre. He had something to say as a dramatic poet, as a musician. And of course we know that from Gerontius, and we love Gerontius. It's a yes. wonderful, wonderful achievement. But the Apostles deserves to be better known and more respected and enjoyed, I think, really. And the process of finding it for the first time was incredibly exciting making the orchestra have the right sound at the beginning. It's mystical. It's not the beginning of a church service, although the subject is biblical. It's the beginning of a narrative that seeks to portray how this group of totally untutored young men came to find a new leader. Mm. They had a mentor, certainly. And the role of Christ in the work is, of course, important, but not in the foreground, I would say, as much as voicing the hopes, the beliefs, the perplexity, the confusion of Peter, the rock, mm. John, and of course Judas, who who is a very, very interesting character in this treatment and not at all simply the baddie that traditionally he's portrayed. <laughs> This is Classic FM.